Hey guys, Duvall here with ToyWorldOrder.com, wishing you all a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and all that jazz. Uh, you just got to see Dave's collection walkthrough for Christmas, and now for Christmas night, you get to see my toy walkthrough. Now, the difference is my uh, collection is, uh, there is a little bit of a mess going around, so uh, pay no mind to the stuff that's like, there's stuff everywhere still. So, But I'm going to show you, since I didn't get to do it last year, since it was in much worse shape last year. So, uh, let's... Uh, Let's check out uh, what's going on in the old Duvall collection. What's interesting is I've got a lot of uh, a lot of old stock stuff, uh, mint in box stuff that I haven't opened. Um, kind of like the the sealed Morkin mini board game here that uh, thought I bought at an auction about a year ago, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna put that up there. Uh, the classic Ghost uh, Gobots Turnover Racer, which is awesome. Uh, my Sesame Street uh, battery intercom telephone set, which is great. And then the other, uh, there was a. Disney one down on the side, and then this Muppet uh, Presto Fix activity set, which are kind of cool. And then, of course, they sit on top of this collector case. Now, I didn't pull the glass doors off here, um, but uh, so the light's going to reflect a little bit off the glass. But uh, you know, I've got some I've got some collector glasses up there, some of the collector glasses, and then a bunch of Disney stuff spread throughout here. Park merchandise and collector merchandise and um, just a, an array of different Disney memorabilia that Carrie and I have gathered over the years now and uh, as you can see they're kind of kind of taken over <laughs> they are uh, they've kind of outgrown this collector case a little bit uh, to the point where it's there's not really any more room for anything um, but I keep trying to cram stuff in there somehow some way <laughs> which is not an ideal thing to do in any collection but uh oh look there's puppet Duvall on his little stand yep he gets a little stand he sits on when we're not using him so he can be protected but uh stuff from our uh, our tour guide of the uh marceline missouri walt disney uh the walt disney's hometown when he was a child karen and i went to this last summer it was very cool um but you see some some cool stuff hiding in there some Lots of Disney stuff. And then you get over here onto this side. And it's more of a hodgepodge of like Looney Tunes and Muppets. And you can see the Garfield stuff fell like <laughs> and fell hard. Look at that. It's it's <laughs> it's an avalanche of, of stuff. There's some Schleich Smurfs down there that didn't fit on the shelf above them, which you'll see in a minute why. Um, and some Sesame Street and some Hanna-Barbera stuff and some Snoopy stuff and some more Garfield stuff and Flintstones. There's these great Flintstone stickers down here that we found and some cool stuff. And up here we get some more some more Looney Tunes and some more Snoopy stuff. Um, the uh, the Icy Bear, which is a little bank. Some more Looney Tunes stuff. Some more some more Schleich Smurfs and some more Smurfs overall. I got a lot of Schleich Smurfs, I'll tell you that. I went to an auction this past summer that I bought a huge tub full of them and I kept the coolest ones that I wanted. So some neat uh, some neat stuff there. The shelf above that, some Looney Tunes and um, Animaniacs and Tiny Tunes and um, Sesame Street. A lot of Sesame Street stuff. Again, I've run out of room that you can't really cram anything else in there. Uh, but I can sure try. I'll tell you what. Uh, Flintstones. A lot of Muppet stuff. This is pretty much kind of the Muppet shelf to a degree, except for the Flintstone stuff at the end. But uh, a lot of cool. The Fisher-Price Muppet uh, puppets there. They came with the little sticks that you put in their backs, and they were like these little stick puppets. So, some cool stuff. And then just some random cups and items. The Smurf school bus is up here. Um, and then the Disney school bus is down here. Both of those were, were recalled because you could take the figures apart and you could swallow the parts. That's just never good. And you can see there's a Shirt Tails one. I still have never found the Shirt Tails limousine. But it was much like this, where it came with several characters and they slid through the limousine, so it's pretty cool. Um, over here we've got, I got a Howdy Doody puppet, and uh, lots of legs here, and some, some random My Little Pony stuff that I found over the years that I purchased and bought. The nursery's over here, and here I can open, actually open this, this door there, there we go. So you can see more of the my vintage My Little Pony stuff that I have, which again, I've run out of room, and now I'm just like cramming them in there the best I can. And in past years, the vintage My Little Pony stuff 
Um, there was some Friendship is Magic stuff in here as well. And that stuff I've taken out and it's just kind of boxed up right now because I really wanted to kind of put the vintage My Little Pony stuff out here and not have all the Friendship is Magic stuff in there. So it's a lot of uh, vintage My Little Pony stuff. That's what that's what's become of that. So not that I dislike Friendship is Magic because there is some Friendship is Magic stuff up here, but I wanted to put them somewhere else and I just haven't made room for them yet. There's some Disney stuff up on my, uh, my one of my fire alarms down here. <laughs> Um, Pac-Man clock, which needs a new battery, but, uh, because the arcade cabinet used to be over here. So that, that fit over here. Oh, some Teddy Ruxpin stuff. The land of Grundle. Those are all the Wendy's toys, except for this one on the end. That's actually that figure unboxed. I have a package one. That's why it's kind of sitting like that. Uh, the land of Grundo that came with Grubby and a different, uh, um, oh, I can't think of what his name was. <laughs> um, I've got some boxed cutie sets which were the uh, muscle for girls, basically. Coolest ultra-tiny individuals on Earth. They were so adorable. And then up on top here, and I'll go down most of the ways here, but uh, so there's, uh, I've got some of the new DuckTales figures and uh, Launchpad's planes on top of the uh, My Little Pony slumber tent. Um, some Teddy Ruxman stuff. The picture show meant in box. The answer box meant in box. Baymax and hanging up at there. This hat is actually an old small soldier's hat. It's, I just don't have room for it. A boxed little bopper, goofy. And then I, I gotta watch out where I'm going here. But I've got a bunch of little boppers. Donald's back there and a couple different minis with different faces and heads and Mickey, a goofy without his pants. There's Piggy. Frankenstein's back there. Teddy. I'm missing Kermit. And I'm missing the other monster boppers. But uh, talking cooler. And Talking Fievel, both with their tapes are in there, so that's just pretty cool. And then down here, we get uh, some Defenders of the Earth stuff. Uh, I'm missing one ship. Like, I've got Griptog down here. Well, I don't think Griptog's the name. Gripjaw, I think is his name. Um, that came uh, thanks to my buddy Chad Plouffe. He hooked me up with that, which was very, very kind and very nice. So we worked out a deal for that. But uh, I'm missing missing the, the bad guy ship, the sword ship. So it's the only thing I'm missing from Defenders of the Earth. Let me come come along here. That's my uh, my buddy Dave gave me that. That's my Alexander Hamilton Lego. It's not really, but uh, it was a cool little gesture and it's neat. So then we get Defenders of the Earth. So I've got all six of the figures complete, and the Mario Brothers line, the movie line complete. My Bill and Ted's and there's Urkelo's cereal box, um, one of the rarest vehicles uh, for any toy line right now, which is the Super Mario Brother Police Cruiser. And yes, that uh, that came out of the box broke like that back there, and I had fixed it once, and it broke again, so I just left it. But uh, only th I'm missing the the Mario the playset from Super Mario Brothers. T uh, two the Ultimate Terminator, the Bioflesh playset from Terminator two, as well as an awesome crayon by number set that my buddy Josh Flood helped find. There's a Turtles cookie box back there. There's a C three PO's box back there. Uh, my complete line of Police Academy figures, including the mail away Captain Harris. There he is right there. So that's uh, it's one of my pride and joys is that that line. Um, I love that line. It's so amazingly dumb. I love it. <laughs> Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, and my uh, Prince of Thieves cereal box <laughs> back there. But I've got the uh, the complete line of Robin Hood, including Sherwood Forest. And that is a uh, advertisement for the Ghostbusters, real Ghostbusters Happy Meal toy set. Uh, my buddy Robert Maxwell Barbieri hooked me up with, which was awesome of him. And then he also hooked me up with this awesome, complete uh, uh, Robo Jailer from Robocop. That was the last Kenner vehicle I needed to complete that line. And uh, it was very, uh, very sweet of him to send me that. It was a, kind of a pay it forward gift. But uh, I had the complete uh, the complete Robocop line. And the like every, I've got everything in Robocop now, the figures anyway. None of the roleplay stuff or any of that or... The, the unproduced stuff, I, I don't know that. I've got the stuff that was actually produced and, and sold. So I, I have the complete line, including a, a sealed thing, a bottle caps back there. Um, I've got all the Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventures figures, including the two different Wild Stallions uh, tapes, which was pretty cool, and the, the phone booth, and uh, Death, which is one of my favorite figures out of the line. I love that line. I love that figure. Um, and then Last Action Hero. 
which uh, doesn't get enough love, but it's a it's a <laughs> it's a pretty amazing Mattel line, honestly. Um, even though it's really hokey, it's it's pretty darn neat. They did some cool stuff with that. And then down here, uh, Zombie Sailor, if he ever sees this, would would adore this because it's uh, Waterworld. Uh, missing one figure. I'm missing the Bolo um, Mariner, and then the the bad guy Doc, Dick Tracy car is down there because we had to plug stuff in recently. And, well, I never moved it. Um, I've got some Spiral Zone stuff down here. Uh, my Mantex series, the the figures, which still are not complete because I'm missing these and little guns for most of them, the little connector piece for there. But uh, yeah, the place that's pretty much there. I've got everything about 95% complete. And then the other vehicle, the good guy vehicle, is down here. I have no parts for it except for the body. So, um, And then I've got uh, the Teddy Ruxpin, the little Teddy Ruxpin airship. Let me get over here. Uh, missing pieces. It had some broken pieces on it. As you can see, the balloon's kind of falling off. But uh, eh, I've got it. That's all that counts, I guess, in the long run. Uh, some Congo stuff. God bless Congo. Stargate. I've got the whole Stargate line. <laughs> um, I've got all of the Fox's Peter Pan and the Pirates line. Which again is a line that doesn't get enough love because it's it's pretty pretty great. And then down here I've got real Ghostbusters. You know I've got the firehouse. I've got a bunch of the figures. I uh, don't know if that's ever a line I'm going to try to complete 100%, but uh, I got a lot of stuff for it, and I've got some stuff that that's fun. So that's all that really matters. Here we'll swing around here. You'll get a, a good view of some of the other stuff. There's some wrinkled puppets hanging out on the sides here, but uh, my Brave Star line. So I've got the complete. Brave Star lineup, all the figures, the neutral laser, the playset of course, 3030s back there. Down here is my other pride and joy of my collection is the Scapers Filmation Ghostbusters line, Bone Troller, and all the figures complete, all the vehicles. That's uh, I bought that from my buddy Robert Maxwell Barbieri because he had a bunch of them and I was like, I want one of those. But it's basically the licensing booklet that they sent out for Filmation's Ghostbusters. Um, Jake, Eddie, and Tracy. Jessica the Reporter, Belfry the Bat, and my Ghost Command playset. Complete. And it's beautiful. It's a thing of beauty. And then down here is my... Most of my Voltron stuff. Panache Place Voltron, the Castle of Lions. There's the, there's a cup from Denny's. There's the... Um, I want to say that came out of Burger King. was for the newest uh, the Netflix Voltron. But I've got all the figures. I've got all the vehicles. I'm missing a couple of weapons for the Lions. But uh, I do have everything else. I've got... Both of the uh, both of the coffins, and I've got extra figures in the coffins. I don't know if you could tell that through the windows, but uh, yeah. And then of course my Matchbox lineup, my uh, Vehicle Force, Line Force, and Robot Force. And the Vehicle Force Voltron actually is holding uh, a prototype sword that was supposed to come with him that I bought from an ex LJN employee. So he is holding that prototype sword. It's pretty darn cool. There's a big OD sitting on the ground. We'll do. So I've got a, I've got another, but I've got a bunch of lunch boxes up on top. They're kind of blocked now, um, and I'll show you what they're blocked by. There's Garfield. Hi, Garfield. Uh, they're kind of blocked by this uh, giant structure I built. We'll see more of the lunch boxes a little bit as we get farther down here. But uh, I built this giant structure for stuffed animals, and as you can see, <laughs> uh, Carrie and I have a crap ton of vintage and newer stuffed animals from the through the years. Um, stuff that catches eye eye, Muppets, um, you know, there's some Star Wars stuff in here that's pretty cute. Um, Sesame Street, again, you can tell, like, Bert and Ernie are just, like, crammed in there. Franklin, Franklin Roosevelt's crammed in there. But, uh, we'll get some, some Littlefoot and some Dino and some Garfield. Lots of Garfield. Lots of Garfield. Carrie loves Garfield. Every time we find a vintage Garfield, she buys it. We've got uh, got some Smurfs, a couple Noids, which actually have different. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but they have they are different uh, different amounts of stuffing in them from when they were manufactured. So I kept them both. Um, tons of old licensing figures. Alvin and the Chipmunks. Who from Roger Rabbit? Uh, Robot Man and Friends, there's Oops, and Robot Man and Robot Woman are back there somewhere. <laughs> um, I got some Fluffy Dogs, some Gummy Bears, some Wuzzles, my only Series 2 Wuzzle right there. Some Nosy Bears. 
Got some old SeaWorld merchandise that still has the old SeaWorld tag on it from uh, 90, from 88. Um, old Luigi. Uh, some Chubbles. I've got some Chubbles. Uh, My Pet Monster Dog. <laughs> and then i got a bunch of, uh, bunch of Care Bears, of course. Bunch of Care Bears. Again, I have no more room. It's a bunch of Care Bears. And then a, a Poochie and... Some more chubbies and or those aren't chubbies, but they're uh, they're American greetings, they're Hallmark card, something I don't remember what the heck they're called. Some more Care Bears, some Strawberry Shortcake dolls down there, some Popples, a lot of Popples. A newer Popple. I had to have a newer Popple because you know. And then as we go around the corner here, and we'll get the front of the room here later, but uh, my uh, my talking toys. So there's one of the um, eight track Teddy Ruxpins. Along there's the other. A track Teddy Ruxman that came out, um, the ideal Big Bird, Cookie Monster, and Oscar the Crouch, the Tycho Big Bird. Uh, my original Teddy is down here. He's just hiding behind Stuffed Teddy. But uh, original Teddy, new Teddy, Grubby, Cricket. <laughs> um, I had to have a Cricket. There's a uh, baby Teddy back there hiding behind Cricket's hair. Uh, Mother Goose and Hector, the ugly duckling. And then uh, pretty much almost all of the Teddy Ruxman puppets, except for one. I'm missing one of the um, this, that, and the others. And I don't remember which one it is, but I'm missing one of these guys. I get some fobs and you know some more some more puppets. The Wooly What's It. And then Talking Mickey and Talking Goofy. Talking Snoopy with Woodstock. And Talking Elf. So that's, uh, that's cool stuff. And then as you swing around this side... There's some more um, hundred years of magic. I've, we've got almost all of them, but they're kind of lying in the top of this uh, this display structure, pretty heavily there. And then we've got this. This is our Disney side, so everything on this is going to be Disney. It's all Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, Donald movies. And there's a Peach Dragon, uh, vintage and newer. Like there's two different uh, old Mickey's. Uh, one has a vest, one doesn't. Um, there's another old vintage Mickey. There's an old, uh, um, I don't remember what these were filled with. They're not, they're not being, uh, these might be, uh, might be beans that are in this guy or corn actually. But some, uh, some Mickeys, some old school Mickeys, goofy as Vader, old school goofy. And then we got a, you know, we kind of tried to separate them a little bit. Mini goofy Donald's dwarves, but, uh, we started buying more and more. And it got out of control rather quickly. And one of these days we'll go through here and just probably keep the vintage stuff. But um, that's for another day, honestly. <laughs> Goofy's a Christmas tree. <laughs> uh, Roger Rabbit window window hanger. So we've got some some cool stuff. These are uh, these are Goofy slippers that uh, my buddy Britton Scrano got for us. Vintage Lady from Lady and the Tramp. That back there is an actual um, Toys R Us display for the Disney movies th that they had. And there's a... Uh, I don't remember what the cardboard display is. I think it's a Valentine's Day. Hold on, i got to rearrange here. It's a Valentine's Day uh, box that you got from the Disney store. But Old Pooh. Mr. Toad from Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. There's Figment's butt because he won't fit down there. And some more vintage... Bambi. There are some chipmunks over here because they just didn't have anywhere else to go. <laughs> it's Dodger. And uh, I can't think of what her name was from Oliver and Company. Bette Midler. Bette Midler's character, but uh, some cool stuff. And then, oh, i got to get up. Getting old. Getting up and down like that hurts. My uh, my Rambo playset. Savage Strike Headquarters. Which is one of the coolest playsets. And then Littered throughout the grounds are all of the guns that you could buy separately. The big uh, um, anti-aircraft guns and little little machine guns that you could buy. So I've got all of those. The helicopter, the the, the six by six Defender, and then it's it's actually towing the other the big cannon that you bought separately that could go on there. The oh the Savage Strike uh, motorcycle, the Skywolf assault jet, and then of course I've got all of the figures. Except for, I don't have whip crapping, or whip crapping, Jesus, whip cracking General Warhawk. But I do have everybody else, um, save for X-Ray. X-Ray was a, uh, 
I think it was a Mexican only release. So it was kind of hard to find, but uh, got all the US releases, except for that Whip Kraken uh, Warhawk. It's the only one I don't have, but uh, I do have. Uh, there he is right there. I love that figure so much. And then over here we've got uh, Terminator 2. T2 Judgment Day, T2 3D, T2 Future Wars. There was, and of course, most of the line was just repaint of the other figures. Like they just kept repainting the same figures over and 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 over, and over again. But it was a fun line. A car. Um, I, I have some mask stuff, not a lot, but some. There's the 25th anniversary G.I. Joe uh, specialist tracker that they released. And some mask stuff, some vehicles. Most of them are complete. Most of them, some of them aren't. I don't have pieces for some of them. I wish that I did. I wish I had all the pieces for that back there, but I don't. And then down here is, there's Vulcan Rock. There's the Power Lords playset, and it is officially complete. <laughs> I do have everything for it, thanks to uh, my friend dealer Dan. He was, uh, he bought one that was just kind of pieces. It's a little dusty too. Um, that was just kind of pieces and uh, helped me piece it out, including, there's the, uh, I was missing the weapons rack, which is this piece here. And so we worked out a deal and I was able to get the weapons rack and the ladder that I needed. So, um, very fragile place that though. And my, uh, Power Lords figures, which is, uh, everything but the, um, Power Lords, uh, Beast Machines. I don't have any of those. But I have, uh, I have all the figures complete. They are all complete. Um, thank God. Because <laughs> trying to find their weapons uh, was a years-long ordeal, I'll tell you that much. Oh, okay, gotta get... And then, oh, and I got some army gear. Just a little smattering of army gear. Um, the flashlight's not complete. It's missing the helicopter and some other stuff. But, uh, eh, you know, it's a neat little line. Oh, God. Again, I'm getting old, people. Oh, there's a pillow person. He's missing his, uh... Missing his, his doorknob, his doorknob, his doorknob, his doorknob. But, uh, yeah, pillow person I found at Salvation Army. I have a bunch of wrinkles, more wrinkles. And then just some more stuffed animals, some more vintage stuff. You know, vintage Chuck E. Cheese, there's an E.T. back there. Bubba, Land Before Time. There's a bunch of Ghostbusters and more Mickey Mouse in here and some Hanna-Barbera. And then down here, some more Ghostbusters and Disney... And then down on this bottom shelf behind all these frames I haven't put up yet are some more some more characters there. But uh yeah. Alright, let's uh let's move on here. Well, I gotta move some stuff here real quick. Alright. So we get uh, the top shelf, we get uh Bucky O'Hare and Baymax, and my Bucky O'Hare line is complete, and the Toxic Crusaders. I know the figures are complete. Uh, it's kind of weird. I'm in a weird angle, so I apologize. Um, Hook. Got some of the harder to find Hook figures like uh, Learn to Fly Peter. Uh, the Croc is up there. Thud Butt. And then I've got I've got a little bit of Harry Potter stuff like the Slime Pit that they, they released and some of the cool figures I liked. My Dumbledore has two uh, two right hands. <laughs> And there's uh, there's some some air raiders. There's the air raiders playset, not complete, just parts. And then I do have a bunch of uh, almost complete air raiders vehicles. Some of them are pretty darn complete. Um, Demolition Man figures, which were of course basically New Adventures of He-Man figures. Once they just kind of reused some of the molds on them, as you can see, this John Spartan is this He-Man, technically. Um, then we get some more. I got some vintage stuff like my vintage line. There's Max FX and the Fee. There's uh, Steve Scout from the official Boy Scouts line. Um, there's a uh, um, Maximilian from Black Hole. A bunch of John Kitts mortals, as well as some original rocks and bugs and things. And then the uh, Gold Megazord and Michael Jackson and Inspector Gadget and the original uh, Pink Ranger Kimberly. And then the LJN. Indiana Jones. I got some Adventure Team, or some Action Force stuff. I rather uh, from from over in the UK. I got some Silver Hawks, a couple other like Toy Island Robocop things. Um, I have the complete run of Wildcats figures <laughs> from Playmates. 
like all of them. <laughs> and then just some random like, uh, oh, Wild West Cowboys and Moo Mesa and some Space Jam. And then I've got some turtle stuff. What little is left anyway. So, yeah. So, uh, moving on. All right. Moving down. Uh, I've got some, I've got the entire Kinner Shadow line, which is a great line. Great, great line. I have all of the, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, oh God, um, oh my God, what were they called? Oh, I cannot think of the line now. I can't think of the name. Oh, I have all of them though. Oh my God. I, I just like, just completely, um, oh, I cannot think of the name of that movie. Oh my God. I'm terrible. Um, <laughs> gosh. Uh, I got the complete uh, Chuck Norris and the Karate Commandos line. I got some Karate Kids figures up here with some of the some of the breakaway aspects. Um, there's Chuck Norris's uh, Karate Commando Corvette and a Nerfle and a Food Fighter. Some more Action Force stuff. And some Tailspin stuff. Some uh, King Arthur and the Knights of uh, the Round Table from Mattel. Some more Nerfles. Nerfles, Nerfles, Nerfles. There's the, uh, the Bruce Willis figure that Matchbox released from... Uh, um, uh, Armageddon, some Thundercats, uh, some of which are complete, some aren't, but, uh, so they're in all varying different arrays of, but they're the ones I like the most, so I, those are the ones I, I like, um, Adam's Family figures from Playmates, which I'm missing, uh, I'm missing her little, uh, they all came with these little thing pieces, and I'm missing hers, I think hers was a thing with a, like a, um, of a, a choking vine or something. Some Arco Otherworld, my Centurions that are complete, uh, my Ash from uh, McFarland Toys, and then I've got a bunch of the uh, the M Force figures. Yeah, M Force is awesome. It's cheesy, but it's awesome. And then a bunch of the um, oh, I can't remember who released those Rimco, maybe I don't think they were Rimco, but uh, all the Karate Ninja figures they released over the years in the '80s. So I got a bunch of those. Those are pretty cool. Um, there's what I like to call Hasbro's knockoff line. Which was Ninja Warriors, which is the cheesiest, like, that's a Hasbro release, and it is the cheesiest figure I've ever seen in my life. It is on par with those guys. Literally. But uh, some Sectars, some Biker Mice from Mars, all oh, Dragon Riders of the Sticks, some Barnyard's Commandos. Um, there's some uh, some Ultra Force figures back there, some Black Star. I've got some Mask stuff. So most of the figures are complete for Mask. I think all of my Mask figures are complete, actually. Um... Still missing a few from that line, though. Cadillacs and dinosaurs. The ones I really want. I've got a uh, dinosaur, but uh, I've got all the figures. Head Pop and Mad Balls. I've got a few of those. Not as many as I'd like to have, but I've got quite a few. My Star Ears. Uh, the uh, the playset is complete. All the guns and everything, and all the little attachments, it's all there. Actually, I think all my Star Ears are complete, which is kind of cool. They have all their weapons and everything, because those things are... I think are tough to find. Mommy's alive. I've got the first wave. I don't have any of the European stuff, which is difficult to find. But I got all the first wave stuff, which is still pretty cool. It's a neat little line, and it's not really that hard to track down. I think the vehicles are harder to track down than the figures, but uh, it's a nice line to have. I got some uh, cops and crooks figures, and I think everyone's complete, except I think Louis the plumber's missing some weapons, and I don't have any of the accessories for the fireman, sadly. He's one of the ones I'd like to find on card someday and open, so I have everything. But uh, I have a bunch of the vehicles complete with the drivers and everything down here. A bunch of little vehicles. My helicopter is missing the uh, the front gun. That was a gift from Chad Plouffe years ago. He sent me that because he had an extra one. But uh, it was missing the, the front guns, which go right there. And the little siren on the bottom. So um, I've got some Dragon's Lair figures. There's a... Uh, uh, I think his name was Mordok. Hmm. Somebody will correct me if I'm wrong, but it's been a while since I played the second one. Earthworm Jim, including the evil earthworm that somebody painted. Those uh, were a trade from uh, my buddy Don Blanco years ago. There's the other. There's Dirk the Daring. Uh, my Rock Lords figures. Rock Lords, rocks that come alive. Um, I've got all their weapons for everybody that I, I own, um, including weapons for characters I don't own. Like there's Solitaire's weapon. Uh, which is the Jewel Lord, which she's super expensive, but I have her weapon, which is super hard to find. So one day I'll find a, a solitaire. I have a few Joes. Um, I have some Joes that I had when I was a kid. I had Super Trooper. 
Um, I had the fridge, some more Rock Lord stuff, some gnarlies. Um, I had the tank and uh, Crankcase is his name? I could be wrong, it's been a while. Uh, but sadly the tank doesn't run, but I have the driver and that's all that really matters. The tank's in pretty good shape, other than that it doesn't run, you know. Um, and then I had uh, Blizzard, I think his name was. I love Blizzard. He was neat. He had little handlebars on his on his backpack and all kinds of stuff. Um, I am Elemental. And then some stone protectors. And my one, like, knockoff. Well, my one, my one Arco. Um, and not Arco, but Remco. Like, the snake guy. I can't think of what that. I mean, I might even do that. It might have been Galaxy Warriors or something that line was from. Um, a fun school G.I. Joe from uh, Pepsodent, I think. That's Firefly. He's kind of hard to find. Dave Gall gave me that. It was a nice gift from Dave Gall. And then down here I've got uh, my round two Captain Action. Some of the stuff on display that I've got. Um, some Starcom stuff. I don't have a lot of Starcom stuff, but uh, the stuff I have is fun. The Playmates Flash Gordon line. Uh, the Beetlejuice mask with the uh, with the snake the snakes that pop out the top. Here we go. Let's see. I'll show. <laughs> the uh, the Vanishing Fault and. What uh, what few figures I have for that line? I have Adam Maitland's head, but uh, no body. Wear his mask, but no body. So, but uh, I've got some Beetlejuice stuff. Um, I'm walking on my knees. So, uh, some Visionaries. I've got the Visionaries line. Two of the three of the four vehicles, and then Dick Tracy. Oh, again, walking on my knees. So, good stuff there. Good stuff. All right. That's a uh, Mickey Mouse Club clock from uh, Disney Channel that you had to send away for. It was kind of cool. We found it then on auction. The um, missing the backer, but the that is the Toys R Us displayer, the original Toys R Us displayer for Teddy Rexman. Sadly, Teddy and Grubby uh, on that no longer work. The actual components no longer function, but um, the display is nice. I still need to buy. There's a wood pole that goes with that. I need to buy some ropes to go around the balloon. I don't know if I'll ever find the cardboard backer. Um, I had a chance years ago to buy one for like 550 bucks, and the guy kind of backed out on me and never, never, never talked to me. So I found a Floby like last year. I was like, oh, I have to own a Floby, just because it's ridiculous, and I must own one. Um, Captain Power and the Soldiers of the Future carrying case down there. And then up top are my Masters of the Universe figures and some Shira stuff that I have, but uh, Castle Grayskull and. I got quite a few figures. I don't know the whole line, but uh, most of the figures I have are pretty complete, you know. Um, I'm still, I've got a list of weapons and stuff that I'm looking for, but uh, there are some figures I still want to own that I had as a kid that I don't own, but uh, eh. As you can see, I've got two different Ram Mans in varying states there. <laughs> uh, some Boglins back here. The whole James Bond Jr. line from Hasbro, I think. I think Hasbro released those. In a while, but I've got all of those. Um, I've got all the Gargoyles figures I want, which I basically have um, the original, pretty much almost the whole first wave, um, and then Hudson from the third wave or second wave, I think, um, which was somebody they didn't release in the first waves, which they should have because he was a main part of that show. But uh, I have all the main cast members of the show. That's all that all I really wanted. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, or Pirates of the Caribbean, dear lord. Pirates, uh, the Pirates of Dark Water. <clears throat> Let's try that again. The ship, I have all the figures complete. Their little swords are hard to find, I'll tell you that. They're a, they're a nightmare to try to, uh, try to track down, because they all came with, most of them came with two accessories. Um, like a lot of the pirates came with like two little swords and stuff, and they're just, they're tough to find. I got a Flintstone shelf here full of Flintstone kids, and the Flintstone movie... Um, I don't remember what company made these, these little, like this Fred here and the Barney in the car. I don't remember who made those, but those are cool. Those are from the seventies, um, late seventies, very early eighties. So those are kind of cool. And then some more Flintstone stuff. The big talking Fred's down here in the Flintstone kids, uh, schoolhouse. <laughs> Pretty cool. Oops. Um, this is, uh, I'll show you this. I've got more, but, uh, this is just a smattering of my VHS collection which is all mostly classic cartoons, um, some classic movies, uh, on a, like original release movies like Seeing and Empire Strikes Back, uh, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, some more over here, Rainbow Bright. And I usually tend to buy VHS that's only, that I can tell has, was like original release. You can usually tell that pretty easily sometimes, sometimes a little harder. 
Um, I have the entire Inhumanoids line, which uh, again, uh, save for one figure, was uh, a trade with my buddy Don Blanco. So, it's a cool stuff. That's a great line. I have the entire Swamp Thing line, which I believe, again, most of those came from Don Blanco. Some of them I bought. Like the uh, the playset. I bought the playset at a Toy Man one year for like 10 bucks, And that playset's hard to find, I'll tell you that. And it's got that old... Uh, that old Kenner foam on it, so it just like biodegrades real quick. But um, that's cool stuff. I got some Alvin and the Chipmunk stuff. Clean most of the windups. I'm missing one of the Chipette windups and the Uncle Harry windup. But uh, I've got all the the dress up Chipmunks and Chipettes. There's Dave, good old Dave Seville. That was ideal. That released that. That was kind of neat. Some guts. Um, some over the top figures. A, a, what's supposed to be Bigfoot that looks very much like Puppet Duvall that I bought because I was like, oh, it looks like Puppet Duvall. I'm buying it. Well, I'll get some vintage. There's some real men. There's the soccer players back there and then the cheerleaders. <laughs> I just don't have anywhere else to display them because display them, it's hard to display real men because you need fake hands or something to put them in. But the, uh, the My Little Pony Vintage Show Stable, which is complete. Um, Dream Castle, which is complete. Including a little spike. He's in there somewhere. I think I've got him in the castle somewhere. Let's see, I've got uh, the My Pretty Parlor with a box. And I believe the My Pretty Parlor is complete. I believe everything's there. And then I've got the Dance School with a box down there, and that's all complete. So everything's there with that, so that's kind of cool. Here, we'll go this way. We'll go. I got some uh, some Hasbro WWF stuff. I've got some LJN. I've got the big LJN Hogan down here. Um, I've got a whole shelf of Sailor Moon stuff including the SH figure arts, most of them. I'm missing Jupiter. I wish I'd have bought her when she was out, but I never did. But uh, mo everything else there is vintage. Uh, vintage from when the show first came out, and a lot of the, these are where uh, the little ones here, the little PVCs were Gashapons that you could buy in the early 2000s. So there's, like, there's the ones for Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon, which was the live action series. So a lot of Sailor Moon stuff. I've got some uh, some Captain Power... And the Soldiers of the Future, some Computer Warriors up here, the Photon figures, the the training cassettes. That was a uh, that the um, he was uh, the Halo figure was one of those um, sprue kits that they released that were big for a while at Toys R Us and they went away. The Goonies, it's Copper Bones from 2007 Comic Con, um, Supernaturals. Look at the car, the playset, this Predator figure that's in front of it though. Um, is a model that I just built and painted um, in the last three or four months now. So um, I put that all together. I painted it. So that's uh, that's what I do in my spare time. For those of you that don't know, this I, I used to paint models a lot. But uh, some 18 figures, a team, a team. There's all the supernaturals back here behind Predator hiding. And then up here I've got some aliens, the Kenner aliens figures, and some Predator figures. It's cool stuff. And I've got uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse. I got the complete Pee Wee's Playhouse. I got all the figures. Um, thanks to Josh Flood, he gave me Randy, who's back there, which was the last one that I needed. But uh, I have all the figures complete. Um, the place that I think is missing one little piece for a chair. But uh, there's the the Huggable Movable Terry and Billy uh, uh, Billy Baloney and my talking Pee Wee and Cherry. And that's Dave Coulier from Full House. <laughs> Um, down here is, uh, didn't have anywhere to put this, but these were figures from, uh, Disney's, uh, Atlantis Lost Empire, which I think they're really neat figures. And they all, most of them had sparking action, which was kind of cool. Um, McFarland Spawn, so the Spawn play, the Spawn back alley play set, and a lot of the movie figures, which I loved. I always thought the movie figures were cool, and I kept some of the neater Spawn figures that I liked that looked really cool, so not a lot of them. Not as many as I had. I had a ton. All right, this shelf, we've got a bunch of vintage Strawberry Shortcake dolls, as well as some different Strawberry Shortcake items. The the lamp here, um, there's a, a glass cup. And then, of course, some of the some of the different different items you could buy. This was a, this is a ceramic Strawberry Shortcake, and that used to be a toothbrush holder. Just missing the cup, but uh, yeah, I got a bunch of vintage Strawberry Shortcake stuff. A um, bunch of the, the vintage, the Toy Biz, Batman, and some of the Kenner stuff. Um, the Kenner Superpowers Batmobile. 
the old Batman cereal boxes. So the one for Batman. There's a superpowers uh, carrying case back there that's got uh, Green Lantern in it and um, Hawkman in it and some other accessories. But the, the Batman Returns cereal box. Got some Robotech stuff down here along with Dr. John Kent's Glios inspired Robotech line. So Robotech's a neat line, or Robotech, Roboforce, I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that, Roboforce. Um, sometimes trying to film this and talk at the same time is a little hard. Plus the fact that I've got robotic stuff right next to the Roboforce stuff kind of throws me off sometimes. But uh, here, I'll scooch over on my knees a little bit. There's a table in my way, so you'll have to excuse the wobbly. But uh, there's some robotic stuff. Um, Legions of Power, which is a great, uh, great line of... Uh, build your own kind of vehicles that was kind of cool some of them work some of them don't i never could get all of them to work but uh, uh mr potato head and kids <laughs> as well as some strawberry shortcake uh, pvc miniatures back there but we've got the the mr potato head kids schoolhouse the clubhouse a bunch of the actual kids the, there was a fun little line from hasbro cute fun little line crash test dummies which, I don't know why I own these, honestly. I've been thinking about selling them for a while now, so I could free that space up for something else, but just never got around to it. But, uh, yeah, I got some crash test, crash test dummy stuff. Uh, there's there's Milky, the marvelous milking cow from Kenner. She's complete. Um, got some cool stuff back there. There's a Pulsar's, my complete uh, $6 million man. I still need an engine block for him. Um... Night 2000 with uh, Michael Knight. There's a talking uh, Al toothbrush holder there. And I've got some Jim dolls back here hiding. So some fun little smattering of stuff. Now on this top shelf I've got uh, GoBots. GoBots galore. So many GoBots. So many GoBots. I love GoBots. A lot of people crap on GoBots, but I love GoBots. I think it's a fun line. All right, hold on here. See, I've got like lighting equipment and... All this stuff in my way. Again, like I said, it's kind of a mess down here. We were just filming new seasons of Bored um, in the last like several months, and I just have never cleaned down here. So, all right, there we go. Stuff's moved. Um, I got a bunch of Transformers masterpiece, and there's some vintage figures up here. Some uh, some Combiner Wars, some Siege for Cybertron figures. There's the new Reflector. Or refractor rather than they could they call him um and i got a bunch of vintage transformers on the next shelf down these are actually pretty much all vintage pretty much all complete i think there's one or two that i'm missing pieces for but uh, overall it's my uh, my nice little transformers collection that i have and down here i've got some more combiner wars and um animated figures i think most of those are combiner wars and Siege figures, War for Cybertron stuff, um, the movie figures. I got a ton of the movie stuff. I, I know people crapped on the movie look, but I, I loved a lot of those figures so much. Um, I loved the transformations of some of them. I thought that was very unique. And down here, I've got some Generations. I got a bunch of Generations figures. I was buying those for a long time when they were doing them because I thought they were so awesome. Um, so I got a crap ton of Generations figures and. Those are uh, Transformers, the animated or animated series figures back there. And then down here, I've got some. Uh, oh, I can't remember what that the realistic Transformers car line was. It was called Vinyl Tech in uh, in Japan, but I don't remember what the alternators. That's what they were called, alternators. I got a bunch of the alternators figures, including Optimus. Optimus is way back there in the back, but um, just some random Transformers. Some some I've got a bunch of the Animorphs, and I've got some Beast Machines and Beast Metal stuff, and. So, some neat little stuff. Moving on. Then we come around to, oh, this is just kind of a hodgepodge of um, 3D puzzles of Voltron and Vehicle Force Voltron. Some Herself the Elf stuff. The uh, the uh, Warpo, Giant Cthulhu's back there in his box. I've got some Herself the Elf, a Transformers collector case up here. A boxed Alvin um, from out of the channel. Like some Shirt Tail stuff. Um, that's actually one of the... Um, uh, creatures from the uh, from uh, Pandora and Walt Disney World. And then I've got some Muppets puppets. So this is kind of cool. This is the original ideal Ralph the dog. It was one of the first uh, Muppet items ever produced and manufactured. He's very hard to find. Along with all the Fisher Price puppets back there. 
And those are all pretty much Fisher Price puppets. And then of course the uh, the the mega size Muppets from um, oh Palisades. And then down here I've got some Get Along Gang. I've got all the the stuffed figures back there on their little roller skates and. I've got, I think, pretty much all the dress-up kids. And you saw the soda shop earlier. That was on top of the shelf uh, with all the Disney stuff. But there's the little PVC clubhouse caboose. So, some neat little fun stuff. I've got some some McDonald's displayers down here for the uh, the Haunted, uh, for the um, Who Am I set, which had all the tapes with it and all the figures. And then the, uh, the Happy Meal birthday set from 90, 95, I think like that some cool stuff now this gets a little weird in here because it is crammed full of um it's become kind of a storage area but i've got a bunch of cake pans optimus and a smurf and bumble lion and smurfette and fred flintstone and there's a get along gang and there's care Bears cousins and i got gi joe over here and a popple a strawberry shortcake and he-man and a ninja turtle and then you kind of swing over here, and you can see the, the play swords for He-Man and Thundercats. New Adventures, 2000X, and Thundercats. Um, but, you know, I've got some NPC Star Wars models up there. And then my Rainbow Bright stuff has kind of been relegated to this little old um, diners, uh, dinner rack, the kitchen rack kind of thing that I used because I was like, well, that'll work perfectly. Um, all those cassette tapes I don't have a home for right now because I've rearranged, so they're just kind of chilling. But they're all like... Ren and Stimpy, you idiot, and an American Tale, Five Uncles West. There's a bunch of like these were all like the old cassettes you got with books, the the listen and read books. Some give a show uh, projectors down there, two different kinds. So some cool stuff. I got a wall full of Hot Wheels, like a crap ton of of Hot Wheels. Um, and they're all pretty much licensed Hot Wheels or interesting ones that I found over the years. And of course, it goes all the way back. All these cups, all these collector cups, all of them back there. Um, more Hot Wheels, more collector cups, more cool items like the Batman the Ride from the opening of Six Flags. Um, these little um, Hug-A-Bunch things that were inside the Hug-A-Bunch. They were little watercolor things that you could, you could paint. And then, of course, you could tell, like I said, there's our old backdrop that we used and some photo studio lights and some chairs. But uh, there's probably four or five hundred lunchboxes behind all that that uh, we're not going to look at right now because, let's just be honest, it's a lot of lunchboxes. Um, some old original turtle posters from the first uh, three movies. So Ninja Turtles, Ninja Turtles 2, Ninja Turtles 3. So let's, uh, let's go in the office here. i got to turn the lights on. Ready? Bum, bum, bum. Now the office is a little bit of a mess too. Again, everything is a mess in this and down here right now. Um, some Little Mermaid stuff. My arcade cabinet, which is not on right now. Some paper towels because, well, I was cleaning down here recently. My arcade cabinet with the control panel I have never rebuilt in 10 years that I probably need to one of these days, but uh, eh, it works. And then some more Little Mermaid stuff. My uh, my Philo Barnhart um, drawings. He was one of the, the key animators on Little Mermaid. And I got some drawings from him and... Some, uh, these are all kids' books. Kids' books, um, collector like movie novelizations and stuff. A lot of kids' books. Um, I keep buying unique kids' books. I have a, um, a list of stuff that I already own. So when we go out shopping, I flip through the list to see what do I have. Do I have that one? No, I don't. We'll get that one. So, um, some more of my VHS tapes. Like I said, I have a ton of VHS tapes, and they're all, like I said, they're all original release, um, oddball stuff. Or stuff that I was like, oh, I remember renting that. I'm buying it. So um, these are all coloring books and bigger books, punch out books, watercolor books, that kind of thing. So I probably got a couple hundred of those. And then my creepy little mermaid shrine, which let's face it, it's pretty creepy. <laughs> but it's a lot of little mermaid, uh, little mermaid merchandise, um, and I keep adding to it. And it's one of those, it's another one of those cases where I'm out of room. I don't have the room for anything anymore, but I keep adding to it because I can't stop myself and I must own more. As Dave would say, more Porgs for the poor God, more Little Mermaid for the Little Mermaid God. But I got a bunch of stuff, bunch of vintage stuff in original packaging, which is kind of neat. Um, 
that's a uh, little bit of history there. When we did that new toy smell, Danny gave us, uh, there's a little figure in the original episodes of that new toy smell that we used to film the opening um, of the show that Danny had painted gold and it got destroyed during the filming of that opening and Danny kept the pieces and then gave myself uh he kept one he gave me one he gave one to Doug Dirt Turner he gave one to Scotty Cash um and they are remnants of that new toy small they are part of that so that gets a prominent place on my wall now because it's a it's a neat piece uh that's me and Ariel at Disney World with uh I don't know if you could tell but that little mermaid was old enough to be my mother <laughs> uh some punch out books some more it's more Little Mermaid stuff. Just I've got so much Little Mermaid stuff. Like we could stand here for hours and look. There's a broken transformer. His leg broke, and I've never fixed him. I need to drill him and put a pin in his leg so he'll work again. But eh, I haven't got that far yet. But yeah, a ton of Little Mermaid stuff. And then the uh, there's the uh, McDonald Land figures from the 70s. I have all the figures. I have the playset is complete except Ronald. There was a pair of stilts. For the playset that Ronald could use that I don't have. That's the only thing out of that playset that was missing. But uh, everything else is there. So it's kind of neat. Kind of cool. Uh, original 27 by 41 Little Mermaid poster. Along with the re-release poster. Which is, I like way more. I think it's a much more, I think it's a much more, uh, I think it's a much gorgeous poster. It, it's better looking. It's more beautiful than that one. Like that one's classic. Also, um, might have been on the... Yep, nope, there's the... Yeah, it's on the movie poster. There's the penis. There's the penis spire. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was on the original posters. Uh, they say it was unintentional. I don't believe that. Um, me, a little boy, and my mama. Not sure why I had a Canada shirt on, but... That was me as a little tyke. A little baby Jason. And some more Little Mermaid stuff. Let me move this chair. Um, I had a bunch of color forms bunch of color form sets again there's no real good way to display them so that's how they get displayed but they're safe they're secure oh more little mermaid stuff so much oh, oh look more little mermaid stuff dun 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 <laughs> again like i said so much little mermaid stuff now this year i got rid of this whole section used to be dvds and i sold all my dvds i put them all in the media server I ripped all the ones I wanted and, and kept all the ones I wanted, and I sold the rest and made a fortune, actually, and a small fortune. But uh, all of this was the perfect size for my, v my burgeoning VHS collection, so that's where a lot of this went. And again, as you can see, it's just a lot of, like, like there's some original release, like Walt Disney home video stuff. There's the original... Okay, let me come around here. I got stuff in my way. Here's the original, original Black Hole release. On VHS, um, some welcome to Pooh Corner stuff. I got some cool stuff, man. I found some cool VHS stuff over the years, which is kind of neat. So, but uh, yeah, it's pretty much all VHS. I think I've got somewhere in the realm of like 600 VHS tapes, and then I got a bunch of DVDs still that I kept, like my Simpsons and just a bunch of random stuff I never got around to ripping. My complete uh, Masters of the Universe that I'm not never going to get rid of. Uh, the complete series of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which is way better than anything they've released to date because they screwed everything up. So, some cool stuff there. But that's uh, that's the office. Let's uh, let's continue on to the the end of the basement here. All right, I got some some oddball stuff, some some superpowers, uh, reading uh, reading listen sets, some from kid stuff. Um, Grover from Sesame Street Live, old Grover. That was like from the early '80s when they first did the Sesame Street Live because it's Bob Shipstead presents. It wasn't. Uh, wasn't who presents it now, which is uh, Field Production. So um, we got a bunch of random like Toys R Us and Ninja Turtle stuff up here. Some Casper. There's some uh, um, Anastasia stuff up here. And then I've just got like bookcases full of odds and ends. Like you know, I've got tons of books, but I've got a bunch of you know classic Mattel football and original Tomitronic Pac-Man. Um, all my uh, Showbiz Pizza Place. There's the collector case, but here's a bunch. I got four of the records the little records that came out so there's those and just again just you know i've got a bunch of books just collector books and press kits and you know 
different kind of books that you could buy. I won't, I won't go through them all, but there's there's some cool stuff in here. Like uh, I've got the Etch-a-Sketch Etch action pack, so I've got the Batman and Superman and then the Games and Puzzles one, which were cool. They were just overlays you put on the uh, the uh, Etch-a-Sketches to play with. They were kind of neat. Um, and I've got some, some oddballs, some Back to the Future stuff, some Dukes of Hazzard. There's a Battlestar Galactica Viper up there. A um, bunch of oddball stuff up here. Just some some masks. There's my beta copy of Purple Rain. <laughs> it's the only beta tape I own, but it's Purple Rain and it's spectacular. Um, so yeah, just some some oddball stuff here. Um, again, more books. More like this is a uh, Popples. Never been never been done, but it was a uh, it's for a pillow. So you cut that out and you could uh, make Puzzle Popple basically, and she could tuck into herself. It was kind of neat. Um, Fisher Price Movie Viewer, and just again, just a bunch of, you know, the Metals diecasts, uh, Ecto One and Optimus. So just some some neat stuff. Uh, and then this, I can't open this door because everything will fall, and I'll show you. Um, that back there is a goof around golf that's complete in the box from Tommy. That's kind of neat that I found at the Salvation Army for like two bucks. Um, and I was like, well, I'm gonna take that home. But this is kind of like uh, all of the uh, oh the vintage Care Bears and. Like the posables, and I've got a bunch of glow worms and oddball like vintage stock stuff that I'm like I don't want to get ruined. Um, all of my showbiz pizza place figures that I own. Some more little vintage PVCs from Shirt Tails to Pac Man to to Snorks to Kool Aid, and then down here is just like a random like Poochie and Pound Puppies and Turtles and Mario and Bill and Ted's and some oddball stuff there. So. Again, more books. Like, see, books, books, books. More kids' books. So many kids' books. Some uh, some Happy Meal toys, which I'll show you where the rest of those are at here in a minute. But uh, some Happy Meal toys. Some of the sets. Mostly Disney sets are up here, really. Um, just because I wanted to keep those out for the most part. And then some, some random, random oddball stuff up on top here. And then we get over here. There's, uh, there's some Captain Planet. Uh, and the Planeteers Valentine Day cards. Yeah. Won't you be my planet, Valentine? <laughs> and then some more oddball like Polly Pocket and some more McDonald's sets. And there's some California Raisin stuff back here and some uh, um, some Foofer. Not Foofer, but uh, oh, I can't think of what the cartoon's name is. Dang it. Um, Kissy Fur. Kissy Fur and just some more some more random Happy Meal toys. The, the real Ghostbusters Happy Meal toys, which have fallen. Um, like these were all the superheroes video games <laughs> they kind of got all wrapped up into a big junk pile um, some more oddball Happy Meal toys Cabbage Patch Kids and there's some Barbie stuff back there um, I got a bunch of Pound Puppies and Pound Purries that are just like crammed into the little <laughs> hole there and some more books but some Land Before Time and some more some Red Stippy, the Back to the Future sets the Simpsons sets um Buzz Lightyear from Space Command sets, uh, an Extreme Goofy movie set, which was kind of neat. Then I've got a bunch of um, Looney Tunes and dinosaurs and Animaniacs and Peanuts and Garfield, Eureka's Castle, Eureka's Castle right there, Space Jam, Muppets, ton of Muppet stuff. There's some California Raisins back there in the package, um, Archie. Some Archie stuff from McDonald's, some chipmunks from KFC and whatnot, um, and then some some Hanna Barbera stuff, Scooby Doo, Flintstones. Uh, All right, had to switch cameras. Both my batteries down on the other camera, so we're finishing with the little handheld with no light. So um, I got a bunch of animation cells. I think you guys have seen a lot of these before, but uh, production drawings or actual animation cells from He-Man, She-Ra, from Real Ghostbusters, from Back to the Future, from Alvin and the Chipmunks. From uh, Filmation's Ghostbusters, from Brave Star, from Filmation's Raggedy Ann and Andy, uh, Pinocchio. And then I've got some some more Disney displayers up there, McDonald's displayers, Hook and Peanuts. And I got some 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 cool oddball stuff, like stacked throughout throughout this room. And of course, uh, again, the top of this case is a mess, but. Uh, <laughs> Mickey Minnie, they're sitting on top of a Care Bear sit and spin. I'll move Mickey so you can see the uh, see the Care Bear sticker there. K 
Care Bear sit and spin. And then down here in the glass case is some more Disney stuff. And a lot of this stuff is the rarer stuff that we found that's in really good shape that we tend to want to keep um, keep in nice shape. So we tend to like kind of hide it down here in the display case. But uh, yeah, here's uh, I'm gonna move all these board games because these were board games we were filming board with. But uh, you can see some of the uh, some of the those are like paint. They're basically these. So they were these ceramic things that you would go to like a paint place and you'd paint them and then put them in the the the, the pottery oven to glaze the paint. But uh, they made all kinds of them. There was Mickey's and there was Donald's and Goofy's. There's a Pluto in there. And they're all different. Every time you find one, it's different because somebody painted them different colors or different, you know, used different designs. So, some cool stuff there. Some more Disney stuff down there. There's back scratchers and Epcot uh, plate, collector plate from the opening. And uh, Disney Family Goofy from Germany, I believe that's where that's from. But uh, some cool stuff. And then, of course, uh, over here we've got just a little smattering of some of the other stuff. And it's a little dark, so I apologize. But again, my light's, the light's dead. So, uh, but uh, a little less Disney stuff in here. Uh, Disney Magic Kingdom, the Disneyland playset with the train. Um, some of the more classic lunchboxes, Peter Pan, the Disney School Bus, the uh, uh, Mickey Express, the Disney Express, I should say. And then up here we've got, uh, oops, Carrie and I have kind of, some more display cases of PVCs and more of the the different little characters we have for Disney. Um, some stuff on top here, and like Huey and Louie and posable Mickey and Minnie and Pluto and Goofy and um, we've got a whole like there's Ziggy. Ziggy lives over here because he doesn't have anywhere else to live. <laughs> uh, all four sides of this is all different Disney PVCs. Like this side is Mickey. Um, that side's supposed to be mostly goofy but it is kind of a random like there is some other stuff in there but it should be mostly goofy um and then if you oh, ooh, ooh, ah, can you get around there um this side's kind of like Minnie and daisy and donald and daisy so i kind of tried to keep them and then the other side is like pluto and poo and um like disney afternoon you can see darkwing duck hanging out there and then mickey mini stuff so and then we've got another another little case full of like there's some Kingdom Come figures in there and there's some uh, some more um, some more cute little things in there. You get it? You get the idea though. It's just it's a lot of Disney stuff, people. It's again we've run out of room. Disney Mazette, which are those are kind of neat. They're like little um, decorate them and hang them. So they come with all these crushed stones that you would glue in there. Um, I found some vintage kites. There's a Kermit. There's a Super Kermit and an Elf. <laughs> so, some fun stuff there. And then, this thing actually turns. And I'm going to turn it here. As you can see, it's turning towards us. So I get a better shot. But uh, I got this little uh, display shelf from uh, from somebody here in town. But uh, there's a Where in Time is Carmen San Diego original release on there for IBM Tandy. And I got a bunch of costumes. There's a Barbie Bride. There is a My Little Pony. There's uh, all four of the Photon masks and costumes from that year. Those are super hard and super tough to find. Um, there's a Paint Pals Yogi Bear that came with Yogi Boo Boo, Ranger Smith, and a picnic basket. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Figure Maker. There's a cake decorating, a cookie decorating kit from, from Sesame Street. And then down here I've got the uh, Power Rangers Creepy Crawlers, the Mad Scientist Monster Lab, and the mad scientist dissect an alien. So and then here we'll turn it, turn it the other way here. Got to turn it slow though, because there's, as you can see, it's like it's wobbly. Like, ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. On this side, there is some Snoopy stuff. This, this is uh, this came from Matt Booz, but this is a uh, Who Frame Roger Rabbit movie poster. I'm not gonna unroll, but uh, I gotta get a frame for it one of these days, so it kind of lives up there, so it's safe and sound. Um, but some peanuts, some classic peanut stuff. Some more of those, like the Disney ones I was talking about, where you paint them and then glaze them. That's what those are. Um, Muppet Babies, Piggy and Kermit costumes, as well as an Oscar the Grouch costume. Those are all super tough to find. Um, this Piggy Bank, which is kind of um, gaudy and audacious, but uh, it's kind of awesome. Um, some, some more Disney stuff. Some Pluto, Pluto Shampoo and the Goofy Skedaddler um, and the uh, Disney Channel. Uh, drink bottle. 
little water bottle from the Disney Channel. So that was a Mickey cookie jar, and then there's a, a band leader Mickey um, Jack in the Box, and there's a Pluto bl uh, Pluto Bank, and then another Disney uh, Disney lunchbox, which uh, we kind of stopped at the lunchboxes, but I'll give you the, a view of the rest of the lunchboxes that are across the top of the room here. Laser tag, and Turtles, and Super Mario Brothers, and Pound Puppies, and all of these up here are complete with their thermoses. So... Uh, My Little Pony, Popples, Wuzzles, Masters of the Universe, and Rambo. So, and then of course, uh, leading into there's a giant box on the floor. The cat was playing it. We'll move that. Uh, leading into the laundry room, which uh, laundry room is a little bit of a mess, but I'm going to show you what's in here. Is uh, these are all of our Beanie Babies, like uh, our Disney Beanie Babies and such. They are all crammed into, and some Smurfs and stuff, but they're all crammed into uh, shoe holders that hang on the back of the laundry room door. And if we go into the laundry room. You can see uh, I've got some long boxes of comics in here, film and TV animation, uh, El my ElfQuest stuff, uh, there's some old Nintendo Powers and stuff up here. Uh, but this is where all the board games live. Oh, yeah, like I have, uh, there's uh, there's three Laserdisc systems up there, there's uh, two VHSs, uh, a tape deck, a record player, a DVD player. <laughs> so there's I've got some old tech sitting around, but uh, these are all the board games live. All the board games live in here now because... Uh, they grew so big, so fast, that they had to... It's a lot of cat litter. Nobody questioned it. Don't question the cat litter, people. Um, that's what happens when you have four cats. You need a lot of cat litter. But uh, the board games, as you can see, just kind of... They kind of got huge. And they outgrew the closet upstairs, and we had to move them. And this is only one side of them. I'm not going to pull these out, but the whole shelves are full um, on both sides. So, And then, of course... Um, I've got a bunch of these magazine holders, and these are all old. Um, this one doesn't have a cover, but that's like Mad Magazine from April 65. Um, Mad 154 from 72. Like, I've got a ton of Mad Magazines. This is only a couple of them. These are all like ElfQuest. Um, the original ElfQuest. So there's number six. I got number two through number 21. Um, but uh, some of the old Marvel official magazine adaptations of movies that Dark Crystal um, My hobby board games Which there's there's a few uh, The Disney Town Square playset, which I have three of them <laughs> As well as uh, there's all of the the accessories for it and I have boxes all the boxes For all the play sets and everything and all the the vintage. Uh, I got a bunch of card games Sailor Moon WWE um, Laser discs <laughs> There's the rest of the Mad Magazine sitting on top of my video discs. Um, I've got a Shrinky Dinks oven and some Shrinky Dinks. Um, just a smattering of random, like, ephemera, like paper stuff. And then a bunch of magazines. So, Star Logs and Movie Animation Video Games. Um, Twisted Toy Fair Theaters, Model and Toy Collectors, Kit Builders. Like, i got a crap ton of magazines, man. Like, a ton of them. Um, some more Mad Magazines. Another DVD player. And just empty boxes. More hobby board games. But then... Back behind here um, is one, two, three, four, and I'm not going to pull them out or anything, but four um, plastic containers that are all filled with Happy Meal sets, figures, um, just tons. There's probably 10,000 Happy Meal toys, maybe more down here. And then, of course, empty boxes. So I keep all the boxes for everything, pretty much, uh, vintage-wise, and I, I hold on to them. So cool stuff, cool stuff. We'll, uh, we'll head back out here so I can properly say goodbye to all of you. So uh, I hope that you all enjoyed uh, the walkthrough this year. Uh, I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays with your family and friends. Uh, and uh, here's to a new year on Toy World Order and YouTube.com slash Toy World Order as well as YouTube.com slash Board the Show. So we are coming back with more board episodes this coming year. So make sure you check that out. And uh, gang, uh, until next time, um, keep digging because you never know quite what you're going to find. Take care.